Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Stage in Ears on Europa. So, in the last session, we set up 18 hydroponics bays and planted a load of rice and some soybeans. We cleared some of the hydroponic bays from up here, so I can now hopefully clear out this area. We installed a large wind turbine to help improve our power situation, and we automated our combustion centrifuge. And as you can see, it is automatically starting back up. So today, what do I want to do today? So today I want to try and harvest these. Hopefully I can get these to seed so I can harvest them properly. I want to probably get another big wind turbine up there because it does produce quite a bit of power. Uh, oh, my new 70. <laughs> 25, 15, 6 watts. 4 watts I think we went down to there. Wow, okay, I lied. It's not producing a lot of power. <laughs> we require 1.43 and we are producing... 200 so there's a massive deficit there at the minute but it is still better than just these little turbines by themselves you can see they are practically not turning is that sun coming up is that sun trying to get yes it is sun's come out so that wind may change uh, 500 watts now but we're still drawing 1.4 kilowatts 1.5 kilowatts so another wind turbine up there might help increase that Obviously we've got the two batteries here to try and store as much energy as possible. I may have to think about installing more station batteries, which means I may have to try and make some more space to do so. Uh, we've still got coal in there, so we're not burning through coal at an alarming rate, which is quite a good thing. What else do we want to do? I would ultimately like to expand this area. I'm still contemplating with building a, a vertical greenhouse, you know. I would like to see if I could put the, uh, some more hydroponic space up here. So I could have maybe what, another 18 up here that makes 36 hydroponic space with that grow light from over there up here in quite a compact area. That would be quite useful. That would be really economical use of space. I've got to put an oven in somewhere at some point. I also need to manufacture and set up a reagent processor which will probably go here that will allow me to extract the soybean. I'm currently 4% food. I did notice when I was editing I actually had another cereal bar there. So I currently have two cereal bars. But first thing I want to do is open my helmet. And chow down on some baked potato. Eat that whole baked potato. Yeah, I say it only took me 49%. That's not a great deal of nutrition in a baked potato, but they are easy to make. I also need to stop stacking my potatoes because they always go off with... Oh, I've eaten too much now, haven't I? Oh, I have, yeah. They always go off with the one that's the worst. If I split that, let's just split them in half. I'm sure it stays the same. Yeah, see, they all stay with the worst condition. So I need to stop stacking them like that when I get new ones. However, there is a way to... Come on, close the door. That's stupid. There is a way to actually use these. So I split half. I put half in there, just for now. I can just plant them. I'll plant those three for now. And put that one back in there. How much is my... I don't think 2% is going to be enough. No, it's not enough to get my hydration bonus. That's a shame. Never mind. Hey, somebody also mentioned to me when I was looking for the pipes down here, why didn't I rub the pipes from up here that I don't, no longer need? I could have done that, but it's very, very easy when recording these videos to forget simple things. What I do want to do is I want to get rid of these hydroponics bays here. I want to move my shower over this way a bit, I think. And if I do put some more hydroponics trays out there, I also need to let the pipe run through. I might have to move that water. Actually, I might move that water into the corner here and just have my shower there. I don't really need any more pipes for wastewater because these pipes have 80 litre capacity in them and I've currently got one in there 
just over four and a half liters from all those showers I've taken so I don't need to worry about wastewater at the moment and I can probably survive like this until I get a water purifier and just purify that water straight out of the pipe back into the tank how much water do we actually have in here left 14 litres we actually have actually used quite a bit it was up 29 but now down to 14 do I have any water ice anywhere yes there okay let's turn you on and just dump you straight in obviously this recent update there's part of the phase change you now have liquid water so if you drop water on the ground it will turn to liquid and slowly evaporate into the environment but I just want that to try and get some more water into here uh, I don't think I've got any more water anywhere else I don't think I've got any in my other backpacks anywhere oh yes I do oh look there I've got some there okay I will use some of this as well I just want to get that water level up now we've got one neat extra in there how are we doing have you seeded yet no three soy bean three soy bean that's a shame, I can really do with you seeding. I do want to take outside again. Cycle this. Because there's not much CO2 left in there. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that. Perfect, perfect placement. There's a spanner. There we go. Right. Let's turn you on. And that is now pulling CO2 from there and dumping it into there. So if I get my tablet, yeah, we've got CO2 going in there slowly. As long as it's below 8 megapascals, we're fine. Although the temperature's quite high, but we'll resolve that shortly, because I've, um, I did have some vans, uh, some vents, radiators somewhere. Oh, I bet you I've put them in here. Radiators, radiators, where are your radiators? But I use them all inside. I may have used them all in the building. Uh, furnace, liquid, arc. Yeah, no, nothing there. I keep forgetting your nickel there. Just to remember, we've got nickel there. Pipe cowl. No, so we'll need a couple of radiators just to attach this, or at least one radiator to attach this and cool this liquid down. What have we actually got in there? 37 degrees C, because that's insulated pipe that's been 37 degrees for quite some time now and it's not changed in temperature all right that should have finished processing how's my weight um jetpack doing oh yes fine yep he's finished processing that so let's dump a 50 in there oh we got four liters out of that I do want to clean up all these cablings and things like I say once I get these two seed. Uh, right, you, radiator. Three gold, two steel. Somebody else was asking if there's a way you could just eject one item from a printer. I don't know the simple answer. There is a way of um, setting a printer up with storage units so that you can dial in what you want to print and it will pull down the material from the storage into the printer, print it and then eject everything back into storage again. But actually being able to eject individual items just by having a dial or something. So I mean in the air at the moment we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different things and I want the steel and the copper. So unfortunately I've got to just pretty much go and let everything kick out and it's a bit frustrating. It's frustrating for me to do, it's frustrating for you to watch probably. So there's a the steel and there's a the copper, you know, now I'm closing the game but it's too late. So I might have a look and see what can be done to do that, but I don't think there's any one way of doing it. The only way I can think you do it, you need a dial with, I don't know, maybe 20 positions on it, which would read the various positions for the materials in the printer. 
and tell you how much of them's in there maybe and then the button to eject that um, what's all the gas coming from oh it's from that sorry just it is the nitrogen gas venting off the water um, and it, like, yeah, like a dial a display to show you what's actually all you're looking at so you can step through the oars and then the button maybe to eject them uh, with some shoots and things like this, I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look, but I'm not convinced there is an easy way of doing it. Right, a radiator. Gold. Did I not just put gold? I oh, know, I put copper in there, didn't I? Numpty. God, I'm a numpty sometimes. I only need one. And you know, I should probably just turn on these printers off as well. So I can't be bothered to refill that, I don't need it, so it's just going to sit like that for the moment. So how are we doing? Oh, power. It's horrifically low. Why am I drawing three megawatts? What is drawing three megawatts? I think there's an error there. So it's the actual 600 and whatever required 3.18 megawatts. Potential, yes, yeah, just whatever's coming in. But when I look at this one, I am, uh, it'll be because of these batteries. That's our potential is what would take to charge these. So this one is, yeah, I'm pulling two, two kilowatts. Okay, that is still quite a bit of power. Anywho, let's go back outside a moment. Right, so how are we doing here? Close you for the moment. We have four megapascals. That's temp pressure's high because the temperature's high. So let's stick that to there, then open you. Temperature in here should start to come down. It is. And as the temperature comes down, the pressure will come down. How are we doing with you? So you're still 100, you're still 91, so we're fine. It's just the temperature we need to bring down. And we've only got 440 moles in there. So you'd say it takes quite a while to get a lot of gas in there. So I'll just leave that running. Hopefully I won't forget about it and it'll go doesn't go bang, but you know me, I very well. Okay, what am I doing? I'm getting myself stuck. How are you doing? Are you now been running fully? Yeah, it's going flat out now. So once I get 800 grams worth of reagents or items in here, it'll automatically shut down and eject it all into the vending machine. I don't think it's ejected anything yet. I think it was just starting up from... Yeah, it was just starting up from last time. Right. Get sure, going. How are you doing? Uh, 2.2 kilomoles of volatiles and yeah that's fine the mixture is still a good yeah that's fine that will last me a long time so back indoors I want to create another wind turbine so I'm probably going to need the steel from you and the copper Electrum. How much does it need? Five. So I've got enough there to build another two. So I might do that. Just leave that running. Have you seeded yet? No, you're still not seeded. Okay, I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm just going to pick you and plant you. At least two of you, anyway. How are we doing? Not really well towards fruiting, okay. And you space in you for them. I also need to print another fridge, I think, and connect it up outside because I'm going to run out of space. The advantage of the big fridge, so that's one done, is it's uh, you still have got a lot more slots in it. It's only got two slots. The big fridge has, I think it's about three by six six or seven six so maybe it's 18 slots and how are you doing as well am I pulling in enough oxygen 
Okay, we're at three megapascals. And how's my tank? Two seven. Uh, there's plenty of gas left in there, but I'm just going to swap it out anyway. And I do need to vent my waste gas. If you've been watching this series, you know I cut in a video where that canister exploded when I got to the <laughs> when I got to here after flashover. I realised afterwards all I needed to do was actually take a canister down and vent it. It was the overpressure that was causing a damage to the canister. So if I just taken it down and vent it, that wouldn't be in a bang. Yeah, but I obviously didn't think about that at the time. Right. In a panic of the moment, I didn't think about it. Okay, how many there? That's okay. Let's go and install these. Right. Oh yeah, I've got to... Come on. Ooh, space may be the issue. I'll come over one. To build you there. Oh, I may have to go out a little bit to build another one. No, no, don't throw it away. I don't want to blow away in the wind or anything. Uh, did I put that the right way around? That's the other thing. need some steel sheets as well so but before I don't, while I'm here I'm just gonna run this cable in Gonna get some steel sheets. I think it's five steel sheets cabling. Okay, how are we doing? It's fine. So I've got the cabling on me, I just need the five steel sheets. Uh, and I think I'm gonna print off another couple of steel frames as well. four for the corner and I think I want another four maybe six to extend that top have a think about it how much steel have I got oh I've not got much steel left actually so let's just steel sheets let's just get these built so that should be enough steel sheets for what I want. Take well down into place. Cabling. And screwdriver. You're connected up. You're connected up. So, where do I want to put another one? So I could put another two frames down here. Anything on the wall there? No, okay. And can I place you there? Right, another three frames. There's three steel sheets required. I should have printed these while I was up there. While I was down here, sorry, not up there. Now, uh, let's think about this. I print one, six. I need six grams of 
eight rounds of iron, six rounds of steel, sorry. So I've got one. Oh, do. Steel frames. So putting one point, consume 1.6 kilowatts, and we're only making 800 watts, so still a massive deficit. All right, and I've just realised I don't have enough electrical cables either, uh, enough heavy duty cables. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about ten heavy cables. So they're now all wired in. I'm obviously missing a little one which I had there that I took out. Um, so I just see that running for a bit. I can hear noisy in the corner. I'm less likely to run off that edge now. I keep running off that edge before, so I'm less likely to do that. How are we doing? 124, yeah. Okay. I think you run off that edge then. Okay. CO2, how are you doing pressure wise? Okay, you're getting quite high. Turn you off. So now it's just a case of letting this cool down to a reasonable temperature. Obviously I'm not going to stand here and watch it, but we've got 1.2 kilomoles of CO2 in there now, which will be useful in our base for feeding the plants. And I know people disagree with me the way I do that, but it's just the way I do it. If you don't like it, tough, move on. Yeah, so a 9... 0.9% CO2. I like to try and keep it around about 10 if I'm honest. So that's fine. You're empty. You. I don't need that window there. Don't need that vent. Was spanner to remove the vent? Spanner. There we go. I may get that spanner out of my hand before I take my base apart. I may put something here just to stop me falling over the edge. Um, in fact, I could just. Those two floors I've taken out. Those two walls. Could put them here, and that way I've got a platform to walk on. And I want them to be glass because I want to be able to see through. So I want to be able to walk on the glass, you see. Yeah. I want the light to come through. That's what I mean. I 
don't even know this will work if I'm honest. I'm just a bit of a trial and error. I may have to turn these round or do something else. Right, what's hydroponics trays? There they are. So. Oh, looks, looks hopeful. One, two, three, yeah. Okay, let's sort out some of this water. Think about how I do it. So the water pipe is there. Oh, there it is. I was looking for yellow tank for some reason. That's the one I typed. Yes, 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 yes. Right, you can go there. You can go there. Just this some water. Oh, hands full. Actually, let's get some food. What's the food at? 54. So if I. Unlock open. Eat that. Yeah, I got my bonus. There we go. I've got the bonus for the water. So. And I'll just stick in my backpack for the moment because I want to take this up. Uh, it's you. Where do I want to put you? I want to put you somewhere where you're not really in the way. So I think I'm going to put you. Then I'll run the cable around that way. I could run the cable across there. No, I can't because of that. I'll have to run the cable that way. Okay. connection there we go that's you filling up now shower where do I want to put the shower I need to move you so let me just check on my tank outside first because I don't want it to get too cold. Okay, down to 90 odd degrees. If I put that in my base, it'll warm my base, but that will act, uh, that will offset the cooling for the oxygen, so I'm going to do that, I think. So, what I want to do is close you. You should now stay nice and warm. Oh, 17 degrees. Look how quickly that went down. Once I removed, uh, once I closed that vent. You can do. So 
So even though this tank's warm, as long as I don't push it right away outside, uh, it will be given off heat. Yeah, it's 88.5. That'll be given off heat. Not very quickly, but it will be given off heat in this room. And that will offset some of the cold gas coming in, which I'm uh, using to regenerate my, generate my oxygen supply. What we're down to in here, 286 hours, so we'll probably just keep an even Stevens. It'll just help anyway. Help more if I open the valve, but I'm not going to. So that's you done. I got that done. What was I going to do? Right, my shower. I need to remove you. you I need you probably around about oh, I don't want it there I'd want it elsewhere now it doesn't have to be up here does he I could put him I could put him there it's just running the cabling in Is already up there. Okay, so you are going to go there. So I need to move you. I need to move you for a moment. Iron sheets, not steel sheets. That's why. Uh, and cabling. Let's see, done. And now I just need to run power up there. So I need some more cabling. Printing, I can take you. Connect you to there. So that's a Oh, uh, the water connection. That is the vent. I've got loads of cabling now. Any more in here? No. Sorry, my headphones just dropped out for some reason. Hopefully you didn't think I caught it before and lost anything. Um, and then connect you up to there. So that's connected up, that's connected up. Last thing I want to do is move this. Um, I've got to do it so I can connect them up. Ah, see, that's a problem. The power lead there is going to be the problem. Okay, I can resolve the power. Um, is it? Can I bring this pipe up 
open this one up. Oh, that one too bad. Uh, not elegant, but it'll do. Um, and this, I've got to do it so I don't lose the dirty water in here. So at the minute I've got 4.5 litres of dirty water. If I do this, all that dirty water should be in that one bit of pipe there. 4.7 litres, yes it is. Right. So, now I just need to... So 4.7 out spread across that big long stretch. So if I remove from this end again, oop, it just keeps pushing up down the pipe. And I think I'll leave two in there like so. So again, that should be 4.5 litres in that pipe network. And there is. So we've managed to do that without losing any water. And how much is in the tank? 24 litres. Um, and that's them ready for another hydroponics bay going in there. I need to finish building... use it. Steel. Screw down one liquid pipe, of course it is. Of course it is. And now we have a shower, we've got a little waste pipe there. I can remove a lot of this cabling now. can come down I'll leave that there for the time being it's not really in my way so I think that's all that cabling sort of tidied up there isn't it yeah what that means is I can probably move these this printer down maybe a bit and I can start looking at getting a sorter on there or a sorter on there and this is the one I really need to move, I'm honest. Oh, power is draining no one's business. Oh, okay, got two by three kilowatts coming in. What are you using? Yeah, we've got more coming in and going out. Um so yeah, so that's it I think. I think that's what I'll do today. Oh, one last thing, where's that light? You'll need to be fitted out there, about the same place. And I'll have to run the cabling in from outside for that one. Handley, I've got the cabling. Right, uh, you there. Going up there, and I'll run that up from the outside now so I can see it, and I'll bring it across to there. You know what, let's just go and do it. Let's just quickly go and do it. While I'm out here, I'll stick that radiator in there, because I will need it later. We go flying off in the wrong direction again.
And there we go. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I've tidied up this area. I've moved my shower and things around to give myself a bit more access. I've set up a second hydroponics area here, which I will... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this here. I may not be able to get the, the, the hydroponics over that, so I'll have to maybe reduce the number up here. But it allows me to have quite a compact growing area. Um, yeah, please hit like subscribe. Uh, leave any comments below. If you'd like to join my channel, please hit the like and the join button. All proceeds go towards maintaining my channel. Uh, but for now, guys, this is Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.